praise the living Jesus. The title of our song is, I love to walk with Jesus. I pray as you list in me, the almighty God bless you. Oh, I love to walk with Jesus like the public ends of old. When he gathered them about him and the blessed time is told. How we came to bring deliverance to the captives in distress. Take away our every burden, give him perfect peace and rest. How we follow where he leadeth. How we pasture. Where he feed it, I will follow all the way, Lord. I will follow Jesus every day. Oh, I love to walk with Jesus like the man of long ago. Who are tarried by the wayside, near the gates of Jericho. Jesus had his cry for mercy, gave him back his sight that day. And immediately followed Jesus all along the way. I will follow where he leadeth. I will pasture where he feedeth. I will follow all the way, Lord. I will follow Jesus every day. Oh, I love to walk with Jesus all the way to Calvary's bro. Gaze upon the scene of suffering while my tears of sorrows flow. There he tells me how he loves me, takes my heavy sins away. So I follow him so gladly, lead me anywhere he may. I will follow where he leadeth. I will pasture where he feedeth. I will follow all the way, Lord. I will follow Jesus every day. Oh, sometimes I walk with Jesus in the land of endless day. When I journey is over and we reach our home to stay, then I walk with him forever, sing his praises all I know. Love and shout and never tell him that I love him more and more. I will follow where he leadeth. I will pasture where he feedeth. I will follow all the way, Lord. I will follow Jesus every day. Him you tell me, Lord, not all Him you tell me, Nick Papa Re. Him you tell me, Olu Wami. Won't tell me, Jesus, Lord, George, Him you tell me, Lord, not all Em you jehu ni papare em you tell e oluami u tell e jesu lo joju mo Praise the Lord. Let's rise up to pray. Let's commit ourselves into the hand of the Lord tonight. Tell him that as we are coming here so, to study the word, word of God, he should give you the grace, give you the enablement, Give you the strength to be the doers of the world. Let's pray unto him. Pray, pray, tell him. It's wanting to leave the comfort of your room, the comfort of your home, and come here and 
you are being taught the word, and at the end of the day, it's not profiting you. It's like labor laws. Tell the Lord tonight, Lord, I don't want to be hearers only. I want to be the dwell of the world. Help me. Let's pray to him that as the word is coming forth tonight, he will meet us at our point of spiritual needs in Jesus' name. Let's pray. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. Father, in Jesus' name, our Lord and our Father, we appreciate you for the privilege given us to us to be at your presence this time around to learn at your feet. I said, I thank you, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Daddy, I pray that as your word will be coming, oh Lord, Daddy, you give us the enablement to be to be the doer of your word. Daddy, do so in our life, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name. We don't want to be here alone, but we want to be the doer. Give us the grace and the enablement to be the doer of your word, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. As many as I see coming, Daddy, I pray that you quicken their footsteps, O oh Lord, so that they will be benefit from today's uh, teaching, O oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, because we've answered. In Jesus' name, we pray. Let's visit it. Praise the Lord. So you are welcome to the Bible study tonight, again in Jesus' name. By His grace, we started last week Thursday. And I told us that the doctrines of the Bible, doctrines of the Word of God, not the doctrines of a church, or a particular church, is what we are studying now. And these doctrines, they are uh, about 22 in numbers. And by the time we study these doctrines, it will form like a, a, a sort of backbone of every church. Why the Bible study will form the backbone of every believer. And these doctrines can be divided into two physically. We have the first part that is dealing with the uh, church age activities. You see, let me, let me tell us that Bible study is going deep down into the Word of God. And number one, you must be attentive. You must concentrate. You must have your writing materials with you. And your Bible. So just like I've said, we can divide it into two physical parts. The, the, the first part deal with the activities or the event of the church age in which we are now. And these can be uh, can be mentioned as follows. That is the first part of the Bible study, the activities of the church age. We have uh, we have water baptism. We have the study of the Godhead. That's God the Father, the Son, and the Holy 
ghost. Then we have study on the virgin birth of Jesus. We have repentance. We have restitution. We have uh, water baptism. We have the Lord's Supper and so on and so forth. The second part contains the events of the last days. Just like I told us last week, and this event, it includes the rapture, uh, the resurrection of death, the great, the great tribulation, the millennial reign of Christ, the great white throne judgment. We have others. Just in that, in that, in that, in that, in that, in that, in that uh, category. So all these events, that is the second part now, they are the event of the last days, just like I said, and they are called uh, eschatology. I told us this last week, and all these events coming together, we can now call them uh, event of the second coming of Christ. When daddy told me that we are starting with these studies, when he said, well, Holy Spirit says we should start, we should start with the second coming of Christ. Which is the second part. I was wondering, what about the first part? The second time, he called me. And said, God says we should start with the second coming of Christ. I now said, okay. Holy Spirit, why? Then the Spirit was telling me that all the activities of the first part, that is the, the church age in which we are now, just like I mentioned, we have water baptism, we have lost supper, and so on and so forth. If they are not done in conformity with the second part, they will not make heaven. That is, if you are conducting your marriage in a way that does not conform with the scripture, it means you will make the rapture. Which that rapture is the first event in the second coming that will take place before Christ will physically come to the planet heart. So when you are well grounded in this second part, that is, you know that, oh, rapture will take place unannounced. And once rapture takes place, tribulation will follow. So if you couldn't go with uh, the rapture, you will be left behind to suffer during the, the, the great tribulation. So when we study this second part now, we are studying it with eternity in view. So, for instance, you, you, you take the Lord's Supper, just like they, they do it in, 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 in uh, other churches anyhow, if you take it unworthily, you know that it can lead to sickness, it can lead to death. And if you die, if, if you die like that, it means there will be no heaven for you. If you take it unworthily and rapture takes place, it means you will not go with the rapture. 
Ele to tun mo si wipe a igbi gbara Oluwa ti a ba lo gbara Oluwa ni ona ti ko ba bibeli mu ni ona ito boya pelu ese ninu aye wa iru fe ni be gbara Oluwa ti o gba yi o le je ki o bo sinu aisan iru ma to ba si wa ninu aisan ti o ba ti o ba iwe mimo mu nigba ti gba soke ba de ko le ba lo gege bi awon mi se ma n gba ni ona to ba wu won by the time we get to that area we we will know more about it nigba ta ba de pele ti bo so yi o le yo je wa si another example is if you say i marry Akpere mi ran ni pe ti ba so pe o ti gbe yawo you are rearing children o wa bere o nta awon mo but the dowry on that woman was not paid owo ori to ye ko san lori obirin to gbe sile yi o san you are just living in fornication iru fe ni be igbe aye agbere lo ngbe the rapture should take place in that form ti igba so ke ba wa de ba won you can go iru fe ni be ko le lo so by the time we get to that place too we will know more nigba ta ba de pele ti mo so yi oye re yo ye wa si it is now i understand that okay so all the activities of the church today ah if we don't do any one of them with eternity in view with that mind that rapture can take place and if rapture should take place and i refuse to go because of this 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 and this i'm doing now in the church it means i'm going to hell ele to je ki oye re ko wa di mimo fun mi ko je ko ye mi si wi pe ti pelu gbogbo isele ta fe ma se tabi won ko ta fe le se ninu ijo ti o ba ni ba mu ni abi ti o ba ni ti a ba ni okan wi pe ohun ti mo se yi ti igba soke ba ba mi pelu re abi ba ni mo ti pelu aye raye mi iru fe nkan be o le ma je te wo gba ni igba ti igba soke ba de ise kise yo wu ta nse ta ba ni igba soke lo kon iberu igba soke lo kon iru ise be le ma je te wo gba so my prayer tonight is that adura mi la sale ni pe grounded in the word of god in this second part that we are studying now the lord will help us to be grounded as the spirit will be ministering to us in jesus name oluwa yo ran wa lowo lati fi ese mule ninu eko ipele keji se an ko yi ni oruko jesu so now to be well grounded we will now start with the rapture ah ki a le ni ifese mule dada a bere pelu on ta pe ni igba soke you know we have the brother view of at the second coming of christ last week ari pe a ti se agbeyewo ipele ke ipele ikan iripa ipada bo christ le leke even though we made mention of the rapture there bo de pe amenu ba igba soke ni be we must understand that this event you can't treat them in isolation of the other mo fe je ke ka ko di mimo fun yi pe awon isele ti o fe sele yi a o le kokon ka fi kon sile so as we are studying one baba se n kokon we be making mention of the other a ma daruko ekeji ninu e ta nko so in, in one one study we lead to the other ele to tun mo si pe a kini ta ba ko yo mu yo mu wa lo si ipele keji so last week we discussed uh we 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 said that rapture is the catching away from the earth all the living saints and all who die in the lord aso fun wa pe igba soke o je gbigba gbogbo awon ayan fe soke ati awon eyan to ti ku ninu christi why the second coming of christ will take place after ele to tun mo si pe ipada bo christi lelekeji yo sele leyin igba ti igba soke ba ti koko se so what we are saying is the second coming will not take place until and unless rapture takes place o n sa fe ko di mo fun na ni pe a ipada bo christi lelekeji ko le wa ye lai se yi pe igba soke koko sele look at first corinthians chapter 4 e je ka wo corinth kini ori kerin first corinthians chapter 4 from verse 13 iwe corinth kini ori kerin lati ese ketala they say i will not have you to be ignorant brethren concerning them which are asleep is talking to us as brethren as believers concerning them that are asleep that is those that have died that ye sorrow not even as others which have no hope so if we have a beloved one that died in Christ they died as a true believer you shouldn't be sorrowful much ele to tun mo si wi pe ta ba ni ara kan tabi ebi kan to ku ninu Jesu Christi a o gbodo ba nu je pupo ninu won so if for if we believe that Jesus died and rose again even so also which sleep in Jesus will God bring with him that's verse 14 ese kerin la he said in verse 16 say for the lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of god and the dead in christ shall rise first 
That is those that died. You say those that died in Christ, not those that die as sinners. They will rise first. Ah, want to cook? I want to cook. No, Chrissy. I want to walk. I want to go to the want to cook. Get your lunch. Then we, which are alive and remain, shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. And so shall we ever be with the Lord. So, just like I said, those that died in Christ as believers, as Christians, definitely they will rise up when the, 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 the trumpet shall sound, they will join us because I will be one of them. The same that will be living that time, and together we will be raptured. We pay our work. We talk only no Christi. We are there. We are not. 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 Read First Corinthians chapter fifteen. Corinthians fifty-one to fifty-eight. So just like I told us last week that the rapture and the second coming they are not the same thing. Because the rapture. Okay. At, at the rapture, Christ will appear in the air. And, and not okay. on the earth. So at the rapture, he will not be visibly seen. By everybody on the earth. But the saint that will be raptured, they are the only one that will see the Lord in the air. And Christ's mission at rapture. What's, yeah. At rapture, what's his mission? Uh, the mission will be to resurrect all dead saints who, along with the living saints, will put on immortality and shall be caught up to be with him, as we read in First Thessalonians chapter 4. Kini ere di ti Kristi yo se farahan ere di sisi o be farahan ni pe lati ji gbogbo awon oku ati awon ti a gba soke lati pa won lara da ki won le gbe agbo ara iku wo So if you read that first Corinthians chapter 15 through I mean uh, verse 52 through to 54 you will see there that we are going to be changed this mortal body we be changed to immortality. Let's quickly look at that one first Corinthians chapter fifteen. Fifteen, that's first Corinthians chapter fifteen. We read verse fifty-two. He said in a moment in the twinkle of an eye at the last trump. For the trumpet shall sound, just like I've said, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this mortal must put on immortality. So, when this corruptible shall put on incorruption, and this mortal shall put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written. Death is swallowed up in victory. Nitori pe ara idi baje yi ko le sha igbe a idi baje wo ati ara kiku yi ko le sha igbe ara iku wo. So remember Lazarus. Eran ti Lazaru. When he died. Nigbati oku. And Jesus brought him to life. Nigbati Jesus jidide. That is uh, Lazarus resurrected. By the resurrection power of Jesus. We didn't hear, we didn't see, we didn't read that he's having the sores on his body again. So that is exactly what will happen that time because we can't go there with dirty body, with sores on your body. No, you can't be there like that. And why we need to be careful is this. This time of rapture is not known to any man. 
Ah, uh, and it is a good case that I need to a cook with Basso. Okay, you could see a dollar you control more. Read Matthew chapter 24. And the Kaka Matthew, or it's only can lend your gun. Verse 36, 37. As a Catalini, as a Catalini, or Goji. 36, 37. A can in Dino Goji, I see Catalino Goji. And this rapture we are talking about will be preceded, just as we have read now. Uh, in the, that's First Corinthians 15 that there shall be a, a voice of the archangel and the blowing of the trumpet. And so when the voice comes, uh, those that will hear that sound, the trumpet, those are the people that will be raptured. If you if you fail to hear, I mean, you wouldn't know something is happening around you. Only what you will discover that maybe you are sitting with a saint, you are working with a saint, you will just discover that, that saint will just disappear. Oh, I'm going to go the money. If you are just going to go to the money, you will just disappear. Oh, I'm going to go to the money. If you are just going to go to the money, you will just disappear. So you, as a sinner, you will not hear the trumpet, the sound of the trumpet. Oh, we pay you for the money. But the saints will hear. She won't hear your fair book. And immediately they hear what happened. They, 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 they will be lifted up into the air. Get it? You want to see the money? I want to see it. Now, when the saints will have gone up, be with Jesus Christ. Last week, I told us that it was. It will be that time that the marriage supper of the Lamb will be taking place. Most of them, I pray, get it. I want your favorite tabati. I want okay. Ni pe ni ah ah. I da kope lukrisi yo gwewa. Here or not? Ni no aye yi. What will be taking place? Kini yo mashele. The great tribulation. I kwanju na yo de. It's a time of anguish. Oje, I koke kwa yeke. It's a time of sorrow. In the time of weeping. Why? Why should it be that time? Because at the end of the day, there will still be a tribulation time saints. Just like I told us last week, this time around, the, all those erroneous prophets, erroneous doctrines they are perpetrating around, they will tell you it's only 144,000 that will be raptured. No. I want to unquote called the tons of pay one hundred and forty four thousand. Yeah, but okay, Rara could be there. Will still be tribulation time saints, even among the Gentiles. How will it happen? Lani, I want like Babo. I already want your fat. You want Shaku, Niako, what you like during this time of tribulation? If they say, ah, because you can't buy, you can't sell, except you take this mark six, 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 either on the four, on the four, on your forehead, or at the palm of your hand. And if you say no, I can now see the truth. I want to make heaven. I want to be with my God. I don't want to go to hell if you insist. One eyes plugged out. Are you ready to take the number or not? I'm not ready. The second one, out. Are you ready? I'm not ready. One leg or one hand being caught. So, these are the things that will be taking place that time. But if you say, ah, I can't bear this anguish, just give me the number. Then you are doomed forever. So you pay ni a koko a ikwanju la yi a wanti a wan yon fet a to e pe wanti wan kie sara wan ri pe wan sa fun e pe a la e je kwe bo ya bag ba a mi e fa e fa ti e fa o koni le ra be ni o ko si ni le she unko un wan wa wo e pe a mi o ma fe lo si oron akwa di to ni pe ti ma si ba mi yi o tu mo si pe oron akwa di direct ni ma lo chi bo wan wa so e pe a wan o ni ba ni ba se wan ba kola ti ba a mi yi o le je o ju a koko wan yon kuro inji o she se la ti ba a mi yi ko ba kolo ko le ron je a ni rara wan su yon ju so eventually one somebody that is not having eyes no leg no hand blood will have gushed out that person will die so those people that refuse to take that number they will be referred to as the tribulation time saints. I want to call. Let it be a me. I want to. I want to. You want me? I want your face by point you. This rapture of a thing is uh, is not known to Old Testament uh, uh, prophets. I want to get your answer. I want to be more fun. I want to live. I want to know my dear my life. But two events took place, even in the Old Testament, that is assuring us today that yes. There is a rapture. 
awon isele meji oto to sele ninu ma je mu lele to je ko di mimo fun wa bi pe lotito igba soke yo sele remember how enoch left the world that time nje ran ti bi enoku bi o se kuro ninu aye yi remember how elijah left that time nje ran ti bi elijah na bi o nu ba se gba soke those two events is now telling us is assuring us that definitely there will be rapture awon isele meji ototo yi o je covid re mule pe lotito igba soke yo wa ye let's look at genesis chapter 5 e je ka wo we genesis ori karun genesis chapter 5 verse 24 e se kerin le ni ogun e se an enoch walked with god and he was not for god took him enoch si ba olorun rin o n ko si si nitori ti olorun mu lo e se e can e se na walk with god So that is to tell you that you need to be holy, pure, and righteous before you can be raptured. Ele to tu mo si pe o gbodo gbe gbe igbaye wa mi mo ki ojo olododo ki a to le gba osoke. In 2 Kings chapter 2. Iwe oba keji ori keji. Read from verse 11. Aoka lati ese kokan la. And it came to pass as they still went on and talk that behold there appear a chariot of fire and horses of fire. and parted them both asunder and Elijah went up <clears throat> by a white wind into into where we are not there second kings chapter 2 verse 11 oba keji ori keji ese kokan la and Elijah went up by the white wind into if Elijah was a sinner if he was a manipulator if he was a liar if he was a smoker drunkard he won't go ti elijah ba je ah omu ti alagbere ati oporo elijah oni ru ese ru fe eyan be ko le ba ko le lo and in the new testament ninu ma je mu tutun the way our lord jesus christ got resurrected and now went into heaven is a clear indication that there will be rapture eh bi a se gba kristi soke o tun mo si pe lotito idan loju gba soke lele yi if you read act chapter 1 ta ba ka iwe isha apostle ori kini act chapter 1 verse 9 iwe isha apostle ori kini ese kokan ese kesan and when he had spoken these things why they beheld he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight nigba si o si ti wi nkan won yi bi won si tin wo a gbe soke awon so mo si igba kuro loju won and why they looked steadfastly towards heaven as he went up the old two men stood by them in white apparel which also said ye men of galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same jesus which is taken up from you into heaven shall he so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven So that is to tell us that Jesus Christ went into heaven in form of rapture and that is coming back not for sinners not for manipulators not for adulterers adulteresses but for the saints Ele to awon bi ta ka yi nfi ese mule bi pe a gba Christ soke gege bi gba soke Ele to tun mo si pe gege bi wa se gba soke e be na gege ni igbasoke yo waye o si pada bo lele keji ki se fun igbasoke yi ki se fun awon elese bi ko se fun awon ayan fe i told us that we are now in the church age mo so fun pe a wa ni akoko ti ijo and rapture we mark the end of this age bi pe igbasoke ni o fi okun si akoko ti a wa yi so all the activities that are taking place in the church now they are preparing us that is the church for the second coming Bo, which we are studying now gbogbo isele to nsele ninu ijo o pese wa sile fun igba fun ipada bo christ de lekeji ele ti an ko eko ninu re remember we are like the bride of the lord eran ti bi pe adabi iyawo oluwa jesus is our bridegroom jesus christ ni oko iyawo and if there is a wife even after being married there is a wife at home and the husband traveled just like Jesus Christ left the earth and traveled and the husband is coming what will be the expectation of the wife 
Oda bi a oko ti oko ti yawo to se ton se gbe yawo ton ti oko wa rin rin ajo fun igba pipe nigba ti oko yi ba so pe ohun ti nbo kini ero ngba yawo re oh you are expecting you are going to get married very soon tabi o ni pe gbe yawo and the as a as as the wife you got the wind that oh my to be husband is very much around what will be your Conduct what will be your activities. Oh, what will we pay? Or cut your fair fair? Oh, what are you going to take with me? Who are you going to see? Who are you There will be great expectation. You want to look neat. You want to look decent. You want to look beautiful. That is man that will die just like a flower. How much more our Lord Jesus Christ that says is coming back for his own bride? Ephesians chapter 5. Uh, let's, let's read verse 25. Husband, love your wives, even as Christ also loved the church and gave himself for it that he might sanctify and cleanse it with the washing of water by the word, that he might present it to him, that is the church, unto himself, a glorious church, not having spots or wrinkle or any such thing, but that it should be holy and without blemish. So, our husband is coming. So, and he wants us to be, by the time he will come for us through rapture, he wants us to be, blemish, to, 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 to be free from blemish, Nigba to be yo... holy, and to be pure, free from any wrinkle. And remember, Jesus Christ came for his people. He came for the Jews. But he was rejected. If you look at Matthew chapter 1. Matthew chapter 1. Verse 21. And she shall bring forth a son. And thou shalt call his name Jesus. For he shall save his people from their sins. But he was rejected. He was rejected, he was hated to the point that he was nailed to the cross. John chapter 1, verse 11. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. So he was rejected. And their own rejection paved way for you and I as Gentiles to have that grace to meet with him in the air during the rapture. And one apostle was specifically raised up for this purpose. And that is Apostle Paul. You know, he's been persecuting the believers that time. And Jesus Christ looked at him and said, You, you are so aggressive in doing evil, in persecuting my people. And I, 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 he, he discovered that he will be aggressive too when it comes to preaching the gospel, bringing souls unto Christ himself. Not only that, it's a demonstration that no matter how deep you may be in sin, you can still be redeemed. So I say Apostle Paul was sent to Gentile world. 
Acts chapter 9. Acts chapter 9, verse 15. This is when eventually he was arrested by Jesus himself. And he got converted. Verse 15. But the Lord said unto him, Go thy way, for he is a chosen vessel unto me to bear my name before the before who? Before the Gentiles and kings and the children of Israel. So he was sent to the Gentile world to save us. In, in Act 22. Verse 21. Act 22, verse 21. And he said unto me, Depart, for I will send thee far ends into, unto the Gentiles. So, Apostle Paul was specifically raised up to evangelize the Gentile world. And it's by the grace of Jesus that we are saved. That we are sanctified. That we are redeemed. Now, by at rapture, this time of grace will stop. Because after the rapture, when the saints will be with the Lord and tribulation will be taking place, there is no more grace. Your salvation, how much did you pay? Your redemption, sanctification, Holy Ghost baptism, how much did you pay? It's by the grace of God. Now, during the tribulation time, <laughs> there's no more grace. It means for you not to go to hell eventually, you will pay with your life. So that is why I said rapture and the time of grace. Now, last week we, we, we discussed about. The event that will take place before the second coming. We mention of wars, rumors of wars, we mention of false prophets here and there. Now, this time around, if you look at the church, there are still, we have deniers. That people have decided to engage in. Uh, it, 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 what, are, what are those deniers that we are noticing in the visible church today? And all these deniers, they will take individual, they will take anybody that engages in it, they will take these deniers will take such an individual to hell. We have deniers of God. When people will say, which God? Where is that God? Second Timothy chapter 3. Some people today, they are making jests. Oh, God, God, God. Where is God? Where, 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 when I don't have money to eat. Where is God? Where, where, when I don't have this to do. When I don't have this, when I don't... At the end of the day, they will deny that God. They will deny that God. chapter 3. If you read from verse 1. Uh, through to verse 5. I will, I will, uh, uh, let's, let me read verse 1. And this know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. In verse 5, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such, 
Must you befriend such an individual? He said, from such an individual, form of godliness, but they, they, are, they, are, they are denied the power. He said, run away from such individual. Only I want to one a far away will be a lot of shit, but to one say a bar are Instead of, instead of tr trusting in the power of God for them to be healed, to be delivered, what do they do? They will deny that God and start visiting occultic houses. They will be patronizing false prophets here and there. Such people, they are denying the power of God that can heal them Deliver them, set them free. So if you, you can read that from Second uh, uh, Timothy chapter three, from verse one through to verse five. Also, we have denial of Christ. Also, we have denial of Christ. When people they will tell you Christ. Ah, no, First John chapter two. First John, Iwe Joanokini, Chapter Two, Orikeji, Verse Eighteen. Eh, seke jidini ogun. Little children, it is the last time, and as ye have heard that Antichrist, that is those people that are fighting against Christ, those people that are opposing Christ, those people that are denying Christ, he said, and as ye have heard that Antichrist shall come, even they are right now, even now. Are there many antichrists whereby we know that it is the last time? E yan mo mi igbe keyin ni eyi bi eyin si ti gbo pe a so di christi n bo wa a ni sisin yi a so di christi pupo ni nbe ni pa ite wa fi mo pe igbe keyin ni eyi chapter 4 verse ori kerin chapter 4 verse 3 ori kerin seketa of the same book of first john Said, and every spirit that confesseth not that Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the this this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. Bogbo, a musical Jawapa Jesu Christi, wa, ni o wa in Raki, Shetty Olarum, a Yisini, a Miasha, the Secrecy, no, see, I ain't to go away, own bo, at least in your city, that's in my So you shouldn't be deceived. That there are antichrists in the world today. We could actually discuss it, who was one of That I deny him. I want to one say they don't believe in him, they don't trust in him. There are deniers of uh, Christ's return. When they will tell you, they have been saying this thing since when? Since my great great grandfather, they said Jesus Christ is coming. We are now in a 20 something century. Why hasn't he come? If he's coming through. And in Second Peter chapter 3. Ninu we pese ruke jori keta. Second Peter chapter three. Iwe pese ruke jori keta. We read verse three. Ah, okay, second. Knowing this that that there shall come in the last days scoffers, walking after their own lust, and saying, Where is the promise of his coming? For since the fathers fell asleep, when the father, when their great grandfather died, all things continue as they were from the beginning of the creation. Oh, si ma wipe ni boni le ri wiwa re gbe wa lati igba ti awon baba wa ti sun o n gbogbo nlo bi won ti wa ri lati igba ojo wa there will be denial of the faith of ah. christian living a o ri awon ti yo se igbe aye igbagbo ti christian ni read this one in jude verse 18 a o ri ele ka ninu we jude ori keji dini ogun jude has only one chapter e se keji dini ogun o there, there is also denial of authority. In the church like this. Church says you should do this, you should do this, you should stay there, don't stay here. They say, who is that? Who is that uh, talking? That I should not stay here, I should not stay there. I beg to hell. So and by this, because of the compassion of the church, 
that you must make heaven why should you die O oh, house of Israel the church will now put in place something like rules and regulations of the church that if you violate this if you violate this this is what will be the consequence it's just to check us it's just to correct us but no matter how there will still be some people that will say to hell with them so because of these rules and regulations look at first timothy chapter one chapter one verse nine knowing this that the law is not made for a righteous man but for the lawless and disobedient for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and for profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayer, manslayers. So you can see that the rules and regulations of the church is to guide, to regulate our activities in the church. Oh, and when you disobey, they say, oh, maybe you have been disciplined, or you have been rebuked, or you have been chastised, or you have been scolded. Take it with joy. It, it, all these things is to make you to make you make the rapture. A ready see official wa ninu jono ni pe iru fe neke choba se si ofiyi kade bawi a ready bawi ni ba tabasi bawi fiti fe ti fe ba to ni pe ready tabi bawi ni pe ko le ba krisi joba ni ke i ko le ba ni ba soke. My prayer tonight is that none of us we miss the rapture in Jesus name. Adura mi ni ashala e ni pe i koko ninu wa ki yo kunu e ba soke ni oruko Jesu. So for you not to miss the rapture. What, what preparations must you make? It's a must. Number one, you must be born again. So if you are not genuinely saved, please tonight, do so. You must live a transparent holy life. You are not the one that will say, hey now. And tomorrow, they say, you, are, you are the one that said, hey, yes, I didn't say so. Or money is being entrusted into your care. Come and do the account. I bet don't bother me. But account for how you spend so much. He's a believer. He's a, he's a Christian. But he cannot accountable for what he or she spent. You are not transparent. In, in your dealings with another brother, with another sister. You, you must be transparent. You must walk daily in the light. You know God is light. First John chapter one. First John chapter one. Verse five. First John chapter one. This then is the message which we have heard of him and declare unto you, even as we are declaring to you tonight, that God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. Now verse six. If we say that we have fellowship with him and walk in darkness, we lie and do not the truth. On daily basis, you must walk with him. You walk in the light. Not that you come to the church to have fellowship. Thereafter, you go to those babas over there to take water, their water, to take their soap, to take their concussion. 
leyin igba to ba ti wa bi da po pelu oluwa o tun wa to awon baba lo leyin igba to ti wa yi ko lati lo agbo lati lo gbo mi lori sisi you must do service for god that's another condition o gboro sise si fo oluwa number 1 you must be born again ah koko gboro ti di atun you must live a transparent holy life o gboro gbe igba ye wa bi mo to han gede you must work daily in the light o gboro ma rin lo doju mo ninu imole you must do service for god o gboro sise si fi oluwa why must you do this kini di gbo to be se awon leyi in the morning we were thanking him praising him ni owuro ayin and we are going to do the same thing next sunday ah tun se to be na ni o se to nbo when you sit down ni gba to ba joko and you look at your life ti o se agbe kale aye re somebody that will have died a miserable life death en to ye ko ti ku ku buruku but miraculously you are alive today ni ona ya nu tabi e kon tabi e keji o wa laaye loni and is blessing you o si tu han buku fun o then it give you good earth o fun ni alaafia pe pe sound earth ile ra pipe you can walk around o le ri lo ri you can see o le ri ran ah ah and you don't think that i all this blessings of the lord upon my life i must use it to do something for him o wa ni oye wi pe gbogbo awon ebuku olokan joko tolorun dalu mi yi ni ona kan tabi ekeje mi na gbodo sise si lati sin it means you are not preparing for the rapture o tun mo si pe o ko pe se ara re sile fun igba soke you must watch on daily basis o gbodo ma ki esara ni ojojumo you must pray always with all prayers o gbodo ma gbadura ni ojojumo now there is something to note there Oh kon wa ti a fe ke o ke a mo nibe all these things i've mentioned now gbogbo awon nkan ti mo ti menu bayi they should not be for a while ki se pe fun igba die ni won gbodo wa you must continue doing them until the point of rapture a gbodo ri pe a se won lo joju mo titi igba soke yo fi de or until the point of death tabi titi iku yo fi de not that last year i was holy i was pure i was righteous but this year i'm relaxing Ah ki se pe ka pe ah lenu to ko da yen mo gbe igbaye wa bi mo igbaye odo do mi gan ko je fe nso sugbo lodun yi o mo fe sin mi in the morning i will be walking in the light i will be uh, 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 i will be doing service for god i will be watching i will be praying but in the evening i will relax no ko ye ko ri be pe laaro o mo sise sin o mo n ki esara o mo gbe igbaye wa bi mo sugbo ni ale ah we are making sin mi why must not you be careless is that you don't know when the rapture will take place e di a e di e de di ti ogbo do fi ja fara ni pe o mu akoko gbon si igba soke yi o as we are sitting now bi a se joko yi rapture can take place igba soke le sele if rapture takes place now ti igba soke ba wa sele bayi we you go se wa le lo that's the question that's something we need to think about tonight o nse agboro ro nu le lori le a sele ile le yi read john chapter 3 verse 3 e je ka ka iwe johan ori keta se keta Read Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Iwe Heberu orikeji la ese kerin la. Read John chapter 9 verse 4. Iwe Johanu orikesun ese kerin. That Hebrews 12:14 say without holiness, without righteousness, no man shall see the Lord. Let's quickly read that one. Iwe Heberu yi we lie si igbaye wa mimo ko sen to le ri Olorun. Hebrews chapter 12 verse 14. Iwe Heberu orikeji la ese kerin la. It says follow peace with all men and holiness without which no man shall see the Lord. Oni e ma le pa lafia pelu gbogbo eniyan ati wa mimo lai si eleyi ko sen to le ri Olorun. So if you are a tiger in your compound in your they know you. Ah You can't offend that individual. Uh, just leave him. Leave her to, uh, to his. You are not at peace with people. To ba je pe ah oni ja ni o tiger ni o ni bi to n gbe to je pe to ma ti ri re to ba ti ah won ya fi le o o gbe igbaye alaafia pelu awon te ijo n gbe. With all men follow peace with them. Bi pe li bi pe le pa alaafia pelu gbogbo eniyan. So if you have some people that this one ah until we get to heaven we will not greet. Ah you won't get to heaven. Ti o ba ye pe oni eyan kan to so pe ah sere ni yi ah o di gba to ba dorun kan to pari ijawa iru fe ni be ko le dorun follow peace with all men le pa lafia pelu gbogbo eni and holiness ati iwa mimo without which no man shall see the lord lai si eleyi ko si eni to le ri olorun and i pray we will see the lord mo gba ru ape a o ri olorun amen so tonight ni asale yi go back o pa de lo sile so ever must have offended you Eni keni yo wu to ti se o 
go and make peace with him or her. You don't know when the rapture will take place. It will take place before they break. If rapture does not take place, what about death? Many people they will sleep, they won't wake up the following day. So if they have been careless with their spiritual life, it means they will be in hell. The reason why we are looking at this event tonight is that we should be conscious of whom we are, what we are, what we are doing. If we know the qualification for rapture, what about those people that we that we miss the rapture? So if you, if you find yourself in this, in this category, you must make amends. Now, the category of people, let me mention them, sinning church members. The word of God is coming to them. They sit as we are sitting down. But they are not conscious of eternity. They hear the word of God. But they have just decided to do their own. All they appeal from the altar, all they appeal through the word of God is just going out of their ears. And when you see them, ah, when you hear the word from their mouth, ah, uh, these are the type of people I should relate with that will lead me to heaven. We are us. It's a lie. Eh, waro ipe ah iru awo yon tu yeko kimbani lele yi kimo le tobi sano de ijoba arun shubon rara kuri be. In the book of Ezekiel, ninu we Ezekiel chapter thirty three. Eh, seke taleni ogbon. Verse thirty one. Eh, se koko leni ogbon. And they come unto thee as the people comment. And they sit before thee as my people. And they hear thy words, but they will not do them. For with their mouth they show much love. Uh, with their mouth they show much love, but their heart goeth after their covetousness. Once it's all wa, be any on see wa, once it joke when I do re be any on me, once it borrow re she won't walk in your she won't. Nitori enu won ni won fi fi ife pupo han sugbon oko won tele oju kokoro won we are all sitting down gbogbo alajo ko yi as children of god gege bi omo olorun but how many of us are doing the word we are hearing me lo ninu wa ni o se oro olorun ti a ngbo yi so if you don't do the word ti o ba ko lati se oro yi if you just love by your mouth so e pe ife enu lokan ni not by your heart ki se ife lati ninu okan wa when you profess to love nigba ti o ba nje wa pe only fair deep down in your heart sugbon ninu okan re lohun you are planning another thing for that individual oh eh e ro buburu lo ngbe fun eniye you are destroying the life of that individual o n ba ye eni ru eni be yen je ni you want in that individual to make to 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 prosper in life. Oh, you will be one of the people that will miss the rapture. Except you repent. Second Timothy chapter 3. Read verses 5 and 7. You, you read that one on your own. No, this category of people, even though they were saved before, they were baptized in water, they are exercising gifts, they can speak in tongues, they can do this, they can prophesy, they can do this, they can do that. But what about the heart that is covetous? And let me tell us something tonight. Ex exhibiting gifts. Prophecies, all those, they are not licensed to heaven. In fact, it can make you careless with your spiritual life. If care is not taken, 
If you are not righteous, if you are not holy, if you are not pure, and say, ah, but I'm prophesying now. I can speak in tongue now. Ah. It's not a it's not a license nor a passport to heaven. It's not a license or passport for the rapture. Let's look at another category of people that we miss the rapture. The careless and the compromising preachers. I want, I want, uh, only one suit. See, go Jafara, Sabi, see what boy you get. No matter the Christian work you might have done in the past. Oh, ni fi she, he she is real, you know. Ah, you know, you are just Christianing. If at the point of rapture, to ba wa di a koko egba soke yi. You have found one thing. See, okuno. You are a compromiser. Oh, jala gaba gebe. Your own motto is do as I say. Not as I do. Ah. You are in problem. You will, you will miss the rapture. Ah, the rapture. You, you can preach as if if heaven will fall immediately. But in your heart, you are living a compromising life. You are not pure, you are not righteous. And they look at you. Once in work, oh, God will save us. I say God will save us. So on this mountain, we are preaching. And when you find us, maybe difficult to compromise. When you find us difficult to buy over. You shouldn't be annoyed, you shouldn't be offended. The reason is that we have two different goals to pursue. So, there shouldn't be any fight. I, can, I, will, I, will, I will preach to you, I will tell you, come back home, don't die. So if you if you see a preacher a preacher that has his own motor as others may I cannot don't fight with him or her. See a bawari only one suit or so you pay to your pay a quality and you pay I want me let my share room contain she and you should buy me oh me oh the share you do for any bet and my badger. Another category of people they are the backsliders and the sinners outside the church. They are just living a careless life. Righteous life. Not minding this world. The rapture will take place one day. If eventually rapture takes place, they will miss it. Now, all these categories of people, they will be left behind to face the great tribulation. Revelation chapter 2. Revelation chapter 2, verse 11. That is my appeal to you tonight. That is appeal to ourselves tonight. So that eventually when the rapture will take place, we will not miss it. Second, I mean, Revelation chapter 2 verse 11 says, He that art and hear, let him hear. Let her hear what the Spirit says unto this church. He that overcometh shall not be hurt of the second death. Only so bad yet take your bone to me so far I want you to teach you to you and so bad she gone to you for a part in the cook a G. I will not be hurt in the second death. A make you for a part in the cook a G. What about you? You won't call. Now, having known all this truth about the rapture. Lay it back at you. I want to go out to tell you. You need to go back. Okay. What manner of man what manner of woman must you be as from tonight? Must you, must you continue in, in your careless living? Compromising type of life? 
life of manipulation. You, 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 must, you must change. You must change. This church must be prepared for the coming of the Lord. That when they see you outside, they see the mode of your dressing, your, your character, your disposition, your interaction with them, and they are asked, are you from end time? Or which church are you from? And you say, oh, I'm from end time. Ah, okay. Baba Melewa's church. That should be our portion. And it will be our portion in this church. I said it will be our portion in this church. This study is, is going to be in series. Because we don't need to rush. Why? Because when you know this part, just like I said earlier, then you will know how to, whatever you are doing in the church now, you will know how to do them diligently, cautiously, so that you will not miss the rapture. Who want to be raptured? I'm the first person. <laughs> okay, if you want to be raptured, stand up and tell the Lord. Stand up and tell the Lord. Examine your life tonight. From all what we have said now, what man of man must you be? What man of woman must you be? Must you continue in your evils? Pray tonight. Lord, help me. Help me. I don't want to miss the rapture. All this manipulating life that I'm living, give me the grace to do away with them. If you are not born again, and you know, call upon him tonight. Because even before we leave this place, rapture may take place. Before you wake up tomorrow morning, rapture may take place. If rapture takes place, Will you go? Pray tonight. Settle with them tonight. Settle with them tonight. Lord, have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. I don't want to suffer here or not. I still suffer in hell. You have been denied your right here on earth. You don't have enough on earth. Oh, you will die like that. Rapture will take place and you will still miss it. It will be better you don't come to this world at all. Pray tonight. Tell him. Have mercy upon me. Have mercy upon me. I don't want to miss the rapture. I don't want to miss this rapture. Have mercy upon me tonight. Pray. Ah, pray. If he asks us to pray for money to come for, for, for to buy vehicle to build houses, I know people will be jumping up. But this prayer point that you need most, you are murmuring instead of you to pray. Ah, I will not be a foolish man, a foolish woman. Having heard this one tonight, I'm still miss the rapture. Ah. Pray, 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 pray. Tell the Lord. Tell him. Have mercy upon me tonight. I don't want to miss it. Whatever it will take you to make me ready. Lord, do it in my life. Even tonight, do it in my life.
let us let's pray very well let's pray very well commit yourself to the hand of god say lord i don't want to miss the rapture no matter what it will cost me i don't want to miss the rapture i want to go with the rapture i don't want to be a cast out i don't want to be disappointed on the last day i don't want to miss that place of eternal bliss i don't want to i don't want to go to hell Give me the grace. I want to make it to heaven. I'm ready to forsake all and follow you. It costs something to make heaven. You must be ready to sacrifice anything in order to make heaven. You must be ready to pay the price. The price is great. But it's great is sufficient for us. As long as made up our mind. All you need is self determination to go with the rapture. You must be ready to carry your cross and follow him no matter. Just make up your mind. He is able. He is able. Because the Bible says his grace is sufficient for us. It's what says when you hear a voice today, harden not your heart. All that you have been hearing since last week, he want us to, to put it into practice. All your areas of weaknesses, God wants you to work it out. Because he won't, he won't accept any excuse. He will not take any excuse at all. Just make up your mind. 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 Cool, 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 cool,
Jesus name we pray Please I want you to be serious with the prayer points This prayer session is specially set aside to pray on whatever that the Lord has shared with us because he has promised that we begin to share his mind with us from time to time, especially as this uh, Bible study uh, uh, progress. Because that is what the Bible study is meant for. Is as of hearing from God. That is God sharing his mind with us. It's not different from saying God says the Lord. Because some people has assume that it is when you begin to shake your head and prophesy, saying God says the Lord because they, before they know that it's God is speaking. No, God's minister to us in diverse ways. Because today. Likewise, last Thursday, he really uh, uh, manifests himself in this study. And whatever he shared with us from time to time, he expects us to walk in our areas of weaknesses and become per until we become uh, perfect. So we pay our colour work back, but we pay all the batty, and we buy some of me. See one meal you want, see one rest of by Lulua, we keep a lot of photographs, we pay our long bowers or all. Only Ruan on your long bowers or all. On bowers or the pass or all, a ready lady, you need to go back to the bass or all. And why, let our one nitty, I went, what's your call ye? Talk by that day, I got up by Drua Lori. Only she is sure, no. The long man back, let it buy me and sorrow, let it book on your party. Only Jenny no Allah, you my lala. No, God minister to us in diverse ways. God shines man with us in diverse ways. As a minister to us today, it's very important we work on our areas of weaknesses and uh, be self-determined to make sure that you don't miss the rapture and this is the essence of the Bible study. E ready gan si e ko bibeli si o se wa lele yi pe nigba ti Olorun ba ti pin okan re pelu wa ta ri pe agbadura lori gbogbo awon ilera wa. Amen. Amen. I had a testimony today. Mo ni eri loni, mo gbo eri kan loni. Uh, one of our brethren in this assembly. He told me. that uh, he told me. told me. He 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 told me. to take a fly from one state to the other. It's a very far place. But uh, the area of security, the area of safety there, 
in fact, I mean, God really helped them. Let me put it that way. Security, safety is their, uh, is, 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 is their watchword in, all, in everything. But you know how, what happened? They told me that the person wanted to take a flight. But one thing just delayed the person. Something delayed the person. And that is why he missed the he missed the flight. Oh, what padano balu to yako wa yi? And he has to take another one. Oh, what wa balu miro? Probably the following day. Boya ni ajo ke jilo she she wa wa balu yi. You know what happened? Inje moto she lebi. He said. Wa bi kwe. See now. Ti ti di ako ko yi. The plane got miss. Balu to yake ni yen wa gon gon wa ori. They can they cannot find it. Wa ti ri ti ti di oni bi ti ti di ako ko yi. And such a thing, you know, this type of this type of thing started about uh, probably uh, early last year or so. Oh, and you know, it's it's not common. It's Before, work work. but these days, it's always becoming rampant. What's one the As God used to tell me, saying that calamities. Disasters, natural disasters, so many things. <clears throat> we be, the world will begin to wither than before because there is no peace for the world again. He said he has started to withdraw his peace from the world little, little by little than before. And sometimes we Supposing and if it happen, that is the end. Because our teacher make us to understand that you need to be ready for the rapture 24-7. That is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Don't wait any time because it could happen any time. It could happen in the day or in the night. Any hour, any minute, any moment. And therefore, I don't want to go to hell. Even I and my family. We want to be rapturable. Anytime you call mother in the day or in the night. I and my family. If you think you are qualified, what about your husband? What about your children? What about your wife? You want to commit the old family to the hand of God. Say, Lord, I don't want to miss the rapture. I don't want to miss that place of eternal peace. Please. I want to be with you in eternity. I don't want to. Uh, I want to. I don't want to spend eternity in hellfire. 
rise on your feet. I begin to pray that prayer very well as you did last week. And something is about to happen in your life, in your family, in your ministry, in your work, in your career, in every phase of your life. Pray in the name of Jesus. Aha. Uh -huh.